Welcome back to the channel. I just realized that it is two years almost to the day since I reviewed the Obalis bait casting reel that uh that's advertised on Facebook and Instagram and other places too. But they call it the Bastard BS2000, uh, 12 to 1 ball bearings, uh, 8 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, I've had it tied on one of my rods for quite a while, but it wasn't until, until I got this for my birthday, this Daiwa rod that I had in the last video, that I realized that it's been two years since I did a update on this reel. So this reel, it's still performing just like it's new. And what I'm using it for now is uh, primarily bucktails, um, muskie and pike fishing. Uh, it's just too bad I'm in a, not a great lake for either one of them, but they're out here. And uh, this thing I can still fire it out there, little or no pressure on the uh, spool and uh it still casts great and the reason why i switched it to a musky reel is because uh because i like the speed of it basically and the handles are a little bit wider than what i've been using it for so so the handles are a little wider than uh some of my other bait casters and it has a great drag on it it just seems to work really well and cast no pressure no backlash so uh, this thing is still performing pretty flawlessly so we're out here on Lake Mishonic and which we've we have caught some good fish and there's fish splashing all around us we have caught some good fish um, on Lake Mishonic um, I've heard of good pike being caught here, and it is supposed to be a class 3 musky lake, but whether we catch one or not, I'm basically just doing a two-year, I guess, review on the Bastard 2000, and uh, from Ovalis, it, I don't know, it seems to be working really, really good, and again, cast it out there, no pressure, and Basically when it comes down to it is you do have to set up the reel to make sure that uh, the spool is not going to be too loose. I wasn't going to get anything on that one because it hooked up weird. But uh, i get this taken care of here. There we go. So you got spool tension knob right here. And so you have to adjust that. And what I do is, and yeah, get it on my chest camera, is I click the bale, let the bait fall until it hits bottom or wherever it's going. I got this set up for a little heavier, but I can run this and it's gonna stop right away. So that way you don't have to worry about it. Let's see if we can get a little better here. As long as it stops right away when the bait hits the water, or hits the ground it uh it's not going to backlash on you as long as you know how to use a bait caster reel and even for beginners this reel is a good reel it's a good bargain uh the ball bearings this makes it super smooth super smooth to cast and reel and uh i have 50 pound braid on here I figure I'm going to make this my uh, bucktail rod and we'll use it for some bass fishing too I'm sure but uh, for right now this seems like it's going to be the reel from the bucktails and uh, hopefully get up and do some musky fishing still up north this year so we can see what it feels like to have one on here and we'll uh, let's do some casting and just see if we can't get itch see if we can't catch something so whether it be a pike or a musky or bass or even snagging carp that's uh see if we can get get one uh, like i said eight to one gear ratio smooth drag tension knob you just have to make sure you adjust it right so basically 
there I have it set to where it's not going to backlash when the bait hits the water and so I can if you're a little scared tighten her up a little bit so it slows down a little sooner and uh, yeah it seems to work really well so let's do some casting and uh, see how we do And I still get a good distance on this reel. Um, I do have the magnets set at zero because that's my preferred way of fishing. But if you do get in some wind or anything, you can turn the magnets all the way up to slow down the spool. Or I, love, I prefer a free spool, so I keep my magnets turned all the way up or turned all the way down. I'm sorry. So let's see if we can get anything. And I'm running this Obalis Bass or BS2000 reel on a 8 foot medium heavy action dial rod and it does collapse. So just make sure the eyes are lined up, stretch it out. And uh, I'm getting good distance on it and smooth casting. I'd probably be tossing white or fire tiger, but you tell me in the comments what would you be to tossing in dirty water? Be tossing a dark lure, or would you be tossing a bright one that they can see? So, but there's a kayak coming at us, so we're gonna just keep casting here and see what we can do. Okay, that's my two year, I should do it one year. That's my two year review of the Basser uh, from Obalis, the BS2000. So, there you go. Uh, I just, I just really like this reel. Would I buy another? Yes, have I bought another? No, I haven't because I have two. So, <laughs> there's no reason to buy another one. But anyway, that's my, uh, to your review on this reel I uh, am using it primarily for my bucktails for musky fishing right now so you might not see it that often during when I'm bass fishing but next video I have when I'm musky fishing uh, hopefully over at Pete and Well or if we get a chance another up north trip then uh, hopefully you can see us get a nice musky or a pike on this reel so that's the two-year review Basser uh, BS2000 from Obalis. And uh, for the price, I think don't think you can go wrong because two years later, and this reel is still holding up and, and I beat the heck out of my stuff. So, But anyway, 
I'm heading back to the launch so I can go eat supper. And uh, and the reason I'm fishing this lake is because I changed the regulator on my engine and I primarily wanted to test it so I figured I may as well do a review while I'm out here. And uh, yes, the motor's running just fine. So, so hopefully that takes care of my electrical problems where I was charging 18 volts. But, uh, but yeah, the Obalus reel uh, still working just as good as the day I bought it. And uh, there's gonna be naysayers out there that say, well, it's not backlash free. Well, if I loosen the spool all the way up and cast like a wild man, then yes, I can make this real backlash. But if it's properly set up, uh, you adjust the tension on it, use the correct line, you are not going to have any problems because like I said, I have the maggots shut off and uh, it's been working fine. So, uh, backlashes, no, I really don't have a problem with the backlashes. So, I really like the reel and yes, I would buy another one, but I already have two. But, uh, <laughs> but yes, it's working just fine and, uh, and that's my two year review. So, if you like that, even though we didn't catch any fish, hope you uh, comment if you have any questions. Uh, the last video had quite a few questions and quite a few comments because people don't like buying online. They'd say, oh, it's a Chinese reel. Well, you know what? So is Abu Garcia and Daiwa and a whole bunch of others that are made in China or Japan. So, and uh, this is no different. I'm guessing it was probably made in China. And, uh, in fact, I don't know if it says anywhere where it says it's made, but uh, but the instructions, if you remember when I did the unboxing, uh, they were all in Chinese, so <laughs> it'd be nice to have some instructions in English. But uh, if you have any questions about the Obalus Reel, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, just leave a comment and I will answer your questions the best I can. And uh, otherwise, Make sure you give this video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.